JMF has um, a huge readership, and it's known, you know, throughout not just the United States but throughout the world as the leading family studies journal. So, um, from year to year, although the numbers fluctuate a little bit, we receive 700 manuscripts a year on average. Uh, while I was editor. Um, it's two a day, <laughs> <laughs> counting weekends and, and, and summers and holidays. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's just the sheer volume of the work makes it challenge. JMF is the most widely cited journal in the family studies field. So uh, the journal has a long history, predating me, of being a, a very strong, uh, sought out journal for family scholars to publish in. So it has momentum, it has inertia, it has history that make it um, very attractive. When you have that many manuscripts being submitted to a journal as, as good and, and as prestigious as JMF, um, it, it just takes a lot of time to carefully read and evaluate not only the manuscripts but the reviews that come in from seasoned experts, you know, uh, on, on the topics that these manuscripts are examining. So time is one, one challenge, one uh, constraint. Space is a constraint. We can only publish so much work. And uh, unfortunately, the, the space constraints, the page constraints, you know, um, determine that we had to reject about 85 percent of what's submitted to the journal. That's a challenge. And then the other challenge, I would say, is um, trying to be, uh, trying to communicate clearly and fairly with authors, um, even when their work is being rejected, trying to indicate to them uh, the strengths of their work, and then also pointing out weaknesses, but trying to be constructive about how they can improve their study. It's important to NCFR because it provides a lot of visibility. It, pro it provides um, a way for people who are reading Journal of Marriage and Family or are reading one article that was published in Journal of Marriage and Family um, to recognize that the National Council on Family Relations is the organization that sponsors this journal. As I said, General Marriage and Family is a, has a long history of being highly regarded, so um, it is uh, very important for researchers in this field to have their work published in Journal of Marriage and Family because it will be read by other researchers. But beyond that, beyond the importance for scholars and beyond the importance for the research community, when policymakers or when politicians or when um, uh, organizations are making decisions about family related issues and they look for evidence to support their arguments they look for work published in the Journal of Marriage and Family so what it means is that this work has been has been peer-reviewed by leading scholars in the field and it's been accepted. It meets the standards of the Journal of Marriage and Family, which rejects 85% of the work submitted. So this tells not just other academics, but it tells policymakers and others that this work is very highly regarded. It's, it's carefully conducted research.